The question here is, how do you properly install Contiv piping for parapente lighting? How do you position your switches and balance your circuits for maximum efficiency? Welcome back to the channel, wonderful friends. If you are new here, this is Electric Age and my name is still announced. You see, in Electric Age, we simplify house conduits, piping, wiring, electrical installations, and maintenance with step-by-step -step tutorials. So whether you are an upcoming electrician, I mean a beginner, whether you are a do-it-yourself enthusiast or an aspiring electrician, our learning videos are specially for you. In this video, I will be guiding you step-by-step -step on how to run the conduit piping of parapet lighting, ensuring you get professional results. Parapets do more than just enhance a building's appearance. They also play crucial role in lighting. You can find them in places like shopping centers, fuel stations, hotels, even in high-rise buildings where they provide uh, visibility and help the pilots detect structures during night flights. In order to get the conduit piping of a parapet done like a pro, we need to firstly prepare a sketch of our parapet. Now let's take a look at a sketch, assuming this is our parapet. Viewing the building from the top, this is for demonstration purposes. Let's assume this is our parapet. And um, of course, this is um, this is the inner wall. The outer wall is already hidden at the bottom of the parapet. Now, assuming if we have these walls and um, Let's assume something like this. And um, we have point of light. Let's assume one, two, two, three, four. material preparation so we have to prepare a sketch like this and position the point of light after which you position your switches let's assume we have switch one here we have first switch here we have another switch here so the third thing we need to do is to balance the circuit and connect the um, conduit pipe in our sketch now, since we have four here, we have four here, we have two this way, two this way. So we are going to select two um, circuits. Let's assume that our DB is positioned somewhere here. Here is where we position our DB in the building. In the building, on the topmost floor. This is where we position our DB at the middle. Now, what do we do? What you need to do is the same way you'll be routing your pipes in your working drawing. All you need to do is whether you are collecting this. This is your DB. This is your DB. It's for you to find a way to connect this to the switch. Connect it to your switch. Then find a way to connect this this switch then you connect your pipes 
to the points, to the lighting points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we have to we are going to divide them into two. This will be six, the other one will be six in number. So this we may take this four plus this two. That is six. Here we'll take this four. One, two, three, four. This is already four here. Five, six. Then we'll find a way to connect to our switch and send it to the DB. So, but while you are running this, you are, while you are sketching this, is for you to get a picture of what you need. These boxes can be three-way boxes or four-way boxes. Because if you make it two-way boxes, you may not have extra space where to connect your switch. So you can make it four-way boxes so that you have provision. Like this way, that way, you can, through the um, uh, uh, location, you can locate your switch from any point. You can locate your switch. So it depends on what works for you. For me, most times I use four-way box. I use four-way box or three-way box. So this is how to root the pipes. Then the last thing you need to do in your material preparation is to count them. You count the materials that you need in your parapet, conduit, piping. Then the second thing you need after the preparation and you bring your materials, uh, I'm going to take you to the site and explain the second part. What and what do you need? On site, there are things that you may need on site. Like when you get to the site, you will need your structural biscuits. You will need to raise the structure. You need to raise the structures, the metal structure. You need to raise them and place your um, metal, uh, your structural biscuits. Then, after which you root your pipes and um, connect your boxes, so that it will not be very difficult for you to connect your pipes then if for instance you want to position your your um, switch here all you need to do you may not go that way all you need to do is to raise your pipe don't worry let me take you to side so that you understand what i mean taking a closer look at this building there is no block here so this is one reason why you should be able to navigate with your conduit piping you should be able to locate your switch or locate the next box diagonally on the other side of the parapet so take note of that it will help you a great deal in running your parapet uh, piping without errors so that whenever the um, blocks are laid it will be easy for you to get your switches fixed you raise your side you raise your one of your pipe you raise it this way you may not need to get to this edge this edge may be longer than what you are seeing here. So you just raise one pipe up like this so that it will point towards the switch. And from here, you raise one, one up facing this way. Facing this way so that this can connect to that, through that pipe. You raise this up, raise one other one up that is coming this way, straight to this one. And the third one will be entering the switch. If you've watched up to this time, I want to thank you for watching and um, don't forget to drop your comments and ask your questions at the comment section below. So if you are watching our videos, I hope you like our videos. Try and give us a like, share and subscribe or we'll have more coming your way. Thank you. Till next time.